All right, my friends, today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers and Legacy United Animated Optimus Prime. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that packaging. There's Optimus Prime right there in his truck mode. I love that, just how the flashlights come out like that of his truck. Transformers Legacy United, the Voyage of Class. Of course, you can read that on your own time of whatever languages he's it's in. I'm just trying to get it to focus a little bit better. Voyage of Class. And, of course, this side of the box. Just picture of animated Optimus Prime. That is a really, really cool picture. That's his accessory right there, his weapon next. But we'll get to, that, get to that when we get to that. And on this side of the box, just the lovely artwork design. Legacy's been pretty kind to us so far, hasn't it? Even though it hasn't really given us anything new, but it has been pretty kind to us. And, of course, at the back of the box, just legal mumbo jumbo horse crap. And, of course, the UPC code that you can read there on your own time. And that's basically it for the front of the packaging. Top of the box, not much happening there. Just Transformers Legacy United. And, of course, back of the box, which is always the most important part of the box. You got Optimus Prime right there, 25 subs. He's not that hard to transform. He's not hard, but it is, you do got to t uh, temper tamper with it a little bit. Excuse me, sorry. My tongue's not working. Cooperate with me. Transformers 40th Anniversary right there. They've been bringing us some pretty cool stuff so far. I do want to get the reprint of, of G1 Soundwave. And of course, here is Optimus Prime. In his, ro in, excuse me, in his vehicle mode. Not time for the robot mode yet, but we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. Very nicely done. All the colors, everything's just got to go somewhere. Very nicely done. And of course, let me go on my tripod. You have to forgive me, my table's a little dirty because I was customizing uh, my Studio Series 83 Soundwave a little bit more, so I'll try to show that off a little bit later in the future. I was work working on that. Yeah, he can roll pretty well, as well as these do. You get a nice little spin out of him. And of course, here is his axe that he comes with. His <laughs> rolls really, really good here. We'll just leave him like that for now. Here's his axe that he comes with, which is now pretty standard for an Optimus. And of course, it stretches out. But we'll get more into this in his robot mode. But I do like the detailing of the axe. That is cool. The nice blue, red, gray all the way around. Matches body mode. And of course, you also get this stuff too. That's for the top of it. You can... Should be able to... Plug it in like so. Who wants to cooperate? And there you go. Alrighty. Now that we got the uh, truck boat out of the way... Yeah, just leave you there for that right now. We'll go ahead and get some comparisons out of the way. Here he is with... Okay, I know it's supposed to be Prime Bulkhead, but we could just pretend that this is Animated Bulkhead, too, because the Animated one was a little bit smaller. As you see, they do match up pretty nicely. Voyager classes, they are Voyager classes. And... Here he is with... Hang on just a second. Here he is with the other Optimus Primes in my collection. Take my phone on my tripod. There's the animated Optimus Prime right next to his MP10 self, Go to the good self, and the Generation 1 self. They do... This one's a, the... This one, MP10, would be more of a leader class, so MP10 does tower over him a little bit. And of course, nice G1 Optimus Prime there. Yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the vehicle mode repairs. Comparisons, we will go ahead and get him into his robot mode. Alrighty, so let's go ahead Get this bad boy out of the way and get him in his robot mode. Shouldn't be too hard at all. Yeah. I just chose to get him into his robot mode, his, excuse me, his vehicle mode at first because his it's a little bit easier to get him back into his vehicle mode. In back into robot mode to vehicle mode. No, vehicle mode to robot mode. Excuse me. So it's not hard to figure out at all. It's pretty simple and easy, like we said from before. Of course, twist this bad boy around. Come over here. Bring out all his arms. One little problem Hasbro missed the beat with, which we will get into. Come over here to where his arms are. Bring that all the way out. We're just about done. Halfway done. All right, good. Trying to make sure I get everything on camera. This is why I want to upgrade to a real video camera. I was going to look into digital bitcoins, but I said, eh, no, I'm going to stay away from that because I see those ATMs all the way around. I said, no, 
I'm gonna stay away from this stuff for right now until I can focus on increasing my income a little bit better. His hands are a little difficult too. They don't want to cooperate. Bring his arms out. And then, yep, that should be it. Yep, he is fully decked out in his robot mode. Now, there's one problem, though, that he does suffer from. This, his chest piece, comes off a little too easily. And that is a bit of a problem. But I do like everything, though, that this figurine has to offer. Because I love everything about his uh, facial features here. You got the blue, nice blue, light blue for his eyes, blue for his head, everything that Optimus has to offer. Very nicely done there. Of course, here's his chest. Nicely done. Pretty uh, pretty well, I think, pretty accurate of the original figure. So, sorry about that. Like I said, getting him from vehicle to robot mode is much simpler. As well, getting him to robot to vehicle mode is a little bit a little bit trickier. Because sometimes his fist doesn't want to cooperate. And back over here, you gotta yank these out, and that doesn't want to cooperate all the time, so I figured I'd just do it this way. Of course, a pretty nice clean back there. Now, articulation-wise, head-on ball joint does do a full 360 degrees. Does look up, does look down. There we go. I can see a little bit better with his mouth there. His little mouthpiece there is a little hard to see. I wish they'd make Optimus Prime lately, though, with his mouthpiece all the, all the time on there, but I think they did the... I think they took that away because of translation. But arms do do full 360 and bend at the elbow and of course legs excuse me his whole entire waist does do full 360 and the legs do do the full splits and go back and go forward pretty well and they can bend at the elbow pretty good and of course his accessory over here you can't equip that with the battle axe I don't think anything is boost compatible, which what I do with this battle axe. Oh, shoot. It's around here somewhere, it didn't go too far. I'll look for it here in a second. But let's go ahead and get some comparisons out of the way, shall we? Here he is. With the prime bulkhead, but we can still pretend that this is animated bulkhead. Even though animated bulkhead will be a little bit shorter. Yeah, they do look. He wants to stand correctly. He'll stand. Upright because it's normal. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Here's what they look like together. Pretty nicely done. And the rest of the comparison. Hang on just a second. But here he is with his MP10 self and his Generation 1 self. So that's cool. I mean, obviously the MP10 towers over over him. I take my phone on my tripod and I did find his axe. I just misplaced it. Yeah, there's MP10. Is looking all heroic, ready for pizza bagels. And of course, there's his Forager class self and his Generation 1 self. Alright, we'll take another look at the accessories in work right now. But yeah, here he is with his axe. Just ready for the chop at the Decepticons. So yeah, that's cool. He didn't want to cooperate with me, um, but as far as stretch it out wise, but that's what he looks like with his axe. And here's what he looks like with his, with his back there. So that's pretty much going to go ahead and wrap it up for my review today. Thank you so very much for watching this all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Please check out the other videos I have on my screen here. And thank you. And please subscribe and have a nice day.